Hey guys, welcome to this extra video. You guys just saw that Sophie got a new puppy. It's her dream puppy. This is Daisy the Dalmatian. Daisy the baby Dalmatian puppy. We surprised Sophia with her yesterday and I wanted to share the whole experience about how we ended up finding Daisy. It was kind of a little mini miracle, wasn't it? And I wanted to share us going to meet her and you guys could meet her mom and it's too much video to put into uh, tomorrow's daily vlog so I wanted to just make it a little extra video and share with you everything that happened in leading up to getting Daisy and so this is it this is Daisy's story and this is Daisy and Sophie's story and how we got her are you happy with her yeah she just had two naps so she's kind of energetic she was chasing me outside is she your best birthday present ever yeah um, I hope you enjoy the video and thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Sophie wants a puppy. Obviously, you already know that we bought Sylvia a puppy, and I wanted to share with you guys the whole idea of what happened behind it. One day, we were sitting in the living room doing homeschool, and we were talking about how one of our subscribers, a friend, sent Sophie a memento for Cookie, her dog, that she lost this past summer, and that Sophie got really teary-eyed, and I felt so bad for her. So I looked at her and I felt really sad for her and I said, okay, I'll buy you a puppy. Like, I will buy you a puppy. You probably won't be able to find one for a long time, but I promise that I'll buy you a puppy. And she was really excited. And so we started looking right away online and her dream dog was a, her dream, her number one dream dog was a Dalmatian. Obviously we're never gonna find one of those because they, like, they just don't have them in our area. We'd have to travel and traveling is out right now because of COVID. And, so we knew we weren't gonna find her a puppy, but we didn't, I didn't feel like there was any harm in looking. And so we were scrolling for a few seconds and didn't we find Dalmatian puppies in our city, right in our city. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is like such a sign. And she's like, I want one. And right underneath it, it said they were all sold. And I was like, you know what? I'll buy you one of these puppies. It said, if you wanna be on the list for the next litter, send me a message. And I'm like, Sophie, I'll buy you a puppy from the next litter. You probably won't get it till the spring, early summer. So I agreed. I said, you know what, Sophia, let's get you a puppy. It'll be here in the spring. Your puppy will be here in the spring. Molly will be a year old. Maybe we'll be moved by then. Like, let's just go for it. I'm gonna buy you a puppy for your birthday. And she was so excited. And I felt it in my heart that it was the right thing because what are the chances we're gonna find her dream puppy so close to our house like that just never happens and it just was such a god thing the whole experience was just a god thing it was like so many signs leading up to us just finding these puppies so i met this lady and i said hey you know could we be on your on your list for the next time we were looking for a female so it took about 10 minutes she sent me back a message and she said somebody backed out i have a female and then i was like oh crap she has a female so then i phoned sam at work and i said told him the story and told him everything that happened and i said should we do it like her birthday is in one month her birthday is in a month like should we give her a puppy an actual puppy for her birthday and he said no <laughs> i said no you're right let's not do it but i went against my brain and i went with my heart so we're going to pick up Sophia's puppy and she has no idea. We've been talking about it for days and days because she knows she's on the list for the next litter. She knows she's getting a puppy. In the last few days that we've been out and we've been doing shopping, she's been buying stuff for her puppy. So she does have some things already put aside. She's got a bed, she's got, I think maybe a collar. She's got some toys. She's got a bunch of stuff set up for her puppy that she's getting in the spring. She doesn't know she's getting a puppy today. 
our only reservation about getting a puppy at this time is because our house is so small. It's small to have a lot of dogs in our house. I mean, it's hard to have a lot of dogs in our house, especially big dogs, because our house is so small. Other than that, we would have really no reservation about getting another dog because it's just the life we lead is perfect for dogs. Like, we're out and about on the farm all day long and they just run and have, have the best time. Is that our only reservation about a dog, Sam? How small our house is? Yeah, and hopefully she'll give you all the work for Hello. Oh my gosh, she's little. Hey. Oh, hello, princess. Oh, I knew you were going to lick me. I had lunch. And it was a messy lunch. Hello. You going to climb in my purse? She'd probably fit in my purse, too. Oh, I don't think so. Not for very long, anyway. How old? She's nine weeks? Eight weeks. Eight weeks. Eight weeks. I have a little girl at home waiting just for you. She doesn't know you're coming. Oh. You're a surprise. She loves surprises. She's going to be Daisy, I think. Ooh, I've had a Daisy cat, but not a Daisy dog. Do you think you're a Daisy? Look at Sam. She wants to go. Look at that blue eye. Oh my. She tried to sell herself yesterday, and I said, no, uh -uh. No, don't sell yourself. You ready to go? And Louise, who picked up her brother yesterday, she emailed me this morning asking about her. I said, nah, -uh, she's sold. She's beautiful. She's gone. Hey, Daisy, Miss Daisy. Her her spots look so much darker in real life than in the pictures. Yeah, it's Pepper. Hello, Mama. Oh, um, I should make a video Dad of you. Is quite a dark liver. Oh, I always want to say chocolate. Oh, I always think he's black. Mom's black. I, the, dog, the dad looks black in yeah, the pictures. But he's, he's a liver. He's on his AKC paperwork. He's a liver. She's little. Yeah. They're little. Come the here. Smallest female out of my girls. Oh, careful. Pepper. Pepper. Here, honey. I want to take a picture of you so that Sophie can see what your mama looks like. She's perfect. She's more perfect than. And she's sweet. She's yeah, she seems girl. really sweet. She's the best mom out of the three in terms of teaching her babies how to dog, how to eat, how to play. You're a good mama. Hello. Look at your spots. <laughs> She's like, no way, you're taking me. Don't worry, we're taking you. Oh Don't God. worry. I'm not spoiled. <laughs> oh my goodness. Her Look mom. at you. <laughs> She's gonna fall over. Oh, Hi, Pepper. Horse horse Hello. Horse yes, I had lunch and it spilled on my arms. Your baby tried it too. How oh little you are. She's so little. Yeah, she's 50 pounds, 45. Oh, that's perfect. Hey, puppy, you weren't supposed to go out. Grab her. You won't go too far with four adults. I think we can manage one puppy. But no, I know. I was like, no, 11, no. Yeah, no. There was 11 in the litter. You like her? She's cute. She's really cute. I like the liver. I've seen like the light liver, but she's really dark. Like you can almost not even almost tell that she's liver. I like liver though. The liver and the one blue eye are both from dad. <laughs> well, she wants to go. She's really perfect. She's, she's like, I saw all the other puppies come in this pen and now it's finally my turn. Yep, she hasn't been in at all. Don't eat the grass. Don't eat the grass. Four and a half pounds. Four and a half pounds. You're a four and a half pound girl. Yes, you are. Oh, she's so much more calm. We got the puppy, you guys. This is her. Sophie's gonna name her Daisy. She's a liver and white, and she's got one blue eye. One blue eye. You have one blue eye, Daisy girl. And she is a lot more outgoing than Molly was when we got her. When we got Molly, Molly was afraid and nervous and terrified. This puppy was like, hey, who are you? She's friendly. Hi. <laughs> She's trying to figure it all out. I can't wait to get to know her more. I can't wait to share her with you guys more. She's a liver and white. And Sylvie really, really, really wanted a black and white, but they didn't have a black and white. They, Like I said, she was the last one. Somebody backed out on her. And the dad in pictures looks like a black and white. So her, her spots are probably gonna really darken up too. I love her. I think she's beautiful. I think she's amazing. In 
Daisy's bag, she got this really nice soft blanket that was rubbed on her siblings so she won't be scared tonight. It has the scent of her mom and her siblings and she loves it. She's all cuddled up on it and she got this toy. She clearly loves her toys already. Look at her chewing. So she got a toy and it's an owl and Gabby is going to go insane over this because Gabby loves Hedwig. She's obsessed with Harry Potter and it's gonna, even though it's not Gabby's dog, it's seriously going to help Gabby attach to the puppy too. Like the fact that she's got this gorgeous head wig toy. Um, she gave us this big bag of food. She gets her puppy food at Costco. Uh oh, you're about to fall with your, with your owl. Here, try and stay safe, okay? Try and stay safe, puppy. She got treated for a revolution, like she got her first dose of revolution, so she did, won't get fleas or anything bad. Um, she came with this purple collar. This is apparently good for 100, 100 pounds. She won't weigh that much though, but it just goes around her neck and slides tight. All the puppies went home with one of those. She thinks that that's her toy too. I can see that this is going to be our chewing dog. None of our other dogs chew everything, but this one is going to, uh oh, there's a problem. She's a fighter, you guys. She's gonna fall on the ground in a minute. She's sliding off my lap. She's a fighter. Ow! That's her leash. And then we got her puppy report. She had her first set of shots. And her birthday was July 19th, if that rings a bell. I mentioned July 19th in yesterday's video. Uh-oh, don't eat the, don't eat that. This is going to be the puppy that we have to keep everything out of her way because she seems to see something and chew it. Ouch! Oh, that was my hand. My hand, little missy. It was Revolution that she got today. Ah! Lost the puppy. Dropped the puppy. <laughs> Don't fall, puppy. Um, she got dewormed twice. She got a vet record. She's had her first set of shots. She's four, and a, four pounds, four ounces. So if you got a puppy and you saw the puppy and you saw the whole process, I wanted to tell you guys that when we got Cookie Dough, Cookie is the Chihuahua that Sophie has had since she was one and a half years old. I got her in as a rescue. A lot of you guys know this story, but I got her in as a rescue and she was a pregnant Chihuahua and she had her babies. And the plan was to find her a really good home as well as all of her babies. And Sophie loved Cookie. She loved her to death. And Sophie was just a baby and Cookie was a bigger Chihuahua. She was five pounds. And she was, Sophie would try and drag her around and try and carry her all over the place. But she was so big and it was so awkward. And I kept saying to Sophie, like, I'm gonna find Cookie a good home and then mommy will buy you a tiny little puppy. And every night, every time I ever suggested that, even when she was like two years old, I remember her laying in her bed and crying and saying, no, I only want Cookie. I only want Cookie. And so the reason that we had Cookie this whole entire time, the last 10 years of her life or nine years of her life is because of Sophie. Sophie fought for that dog. Sophie wanted her so badly. Like they were, and Cookie only had eyes for Sophie. And that is just such a beautiful story and I wanted to share it with you how big of a part Cookie played in Sophie's life. And now we're gonna start a whole new journey and hopefully it lasts longer than nine years. Don't you know that you're beautiful?